In this video, you'll learn how to open a worksheet form. Click on Reports, and then Worksheet. Click Refresh to make sure all your products have come through. Note that if you refresh after you change values on the worksheet, it will result in their being reset back to their original values. The worksheet will list all the products used and information like quantity, unit, price per square foot, total amount, tax amount. On the bottom, you'll see the subtotal, total tax, and grand total. If you tap on a product, you can edit the details straight from here. Click Done when you're finished. If you want to remove an item, click Edit and then click the minus sign and delete. If you click on the upload arrow in the top right corner, you have other options. First, you can add other products from your product database. Pick a product and it will show up on the bottom. You can also go back and add from scratch. Click on it to edit the way shown previously. Once you've filled it out, click Done. Going back, you can click Worksheet Info and input information like tax rate, discount, fright, and instruction. Note that the instruction will not appear on your worksheet. It is private. Click Done when you're ready. Let's go back. Let's select Worksheet. From here, you can pick another worksheet to view or create a blank new one using the Edit button. So let's give it a name. As you can see, the new page will start out completely blank. Lastly, let's go back and click Quotation. So here's the proposal, and it contains all the pricing information. From the upload icon, you can share, print, or store the file. The gear icon will show signature and settings and project info. Let's click project info. From here, you can input information like customer information, job site information, and management details. Now let's check out signature and settings. Here, you will be able to obtain a proposal signature from your client. You can fill out your company's information and details, your logo, what to include in the form. You can toggle these options on or off, and some of these details will be covered in a lesson called Print Templates. Once you click Done, the signature will always appear at the bottom of the worksheet.